baseball at Tennyson Stadium for the first time in 2017. The Central Michigan Chippewas are home to take on the Missouri State Bears in Mount Pleasant. 20 with his 21st start of the year. Swings and misses through the fastball from Cole. And there are quickly two outs. Runner on second against Dazon Cole with Drew Millis at the plate. Reaches on and sends it out to shallow left field. It'll drop in for a base hit in front of Rowland. Rounding third and coming home is Ironman. Here's the throw, the tag by Kratt. Out is the call at home plate. Rowland with a terrific throw. Evan Kratt applies the tag on the sliding Jeremy Ironman on his right thigh and now comes set, belt high. From the first base side of the rubber in the stretch, the delivery. Swing and a miss. That's the second strikeout for Alex Jefferson. He did have one error back in that first inning. The first pitch on the ground to Hopper. That gets underneath the glove of Daniel Chipping into right field. Rounding third and coming in to score is Steinmetz, and it's 2 to nothing Missouri State. Over to third goes Berger. The drive in Berger at third. The 2-2 reaches and sends it down the third baseline, slowly rolling, and Frazier will have no throw. Berger comes in to score, and it's 3 to nothing Bears. It's issue two here in the fourth is there's a drag bunt down the first base side. Sullivan gets it at second, tries to throw to second, and pops off the helmet of Hunter Steinmetz, goes into shallow left field, and that'll bring around John Privatera to score. Dirt and grass of a field. They played in East Lansing on Tuesday as that pitch is lifted and drops in for a base hit over the shortstop Alex Borglin. Into score comes Landon Ruff with no throw over to third. Swings and lines this out to left field, backing up is Jefferson, and it's over his head as it bounces off the wall, first off the warning track. Rollin rounding third, he's headed for home, and sliding in safely is Ty Rollin. It's an RBI double by the leadoff senior, Alex Borglin. The game that started just past 12 o'clock. Swing and a pop-up to right center field, this could do it. Over to his left is Hunter Steinmetz, the center fielder, and that ends the home opener for Central Michigan is the final score. Missouri State 12, Central Michigan 1. Hoping to split the doubleheader in the home opener at Tennyson Stadium. Hankins comes home, swing and a miss. A foul tip into the glove of Robert Greenman and a strikeout here in the top of the first. 1,191 victories as there's a strike three. Now the throw down to second. Is it in time? Yes, off of one hop. Alex Borglin applies the tag on Justin Paulson and a strike him out, throw him out in the top of the second in 2017. The 2-2 two -two called strike three on the inner half of the plate and Landon Ruff is set aside. Takes a peek at second, comes home. Change up, swing and a miss. Beautiful pitch from Hankins and he's rolling as we head to the bottom of the fifth. No score between the Chippewas and the Bears. There goes Cole to second. It's a base hit through the hole at first and second. An RBI single, and Central Michigan has taken the lead on a Hickey two-out clutch swing that scores Evan Kratt. Here's one more game to be played. Here's a ground ball that's back up the middle. Coming in is Cole. He's got a long run. Around third is Berger. The throw won't be made by Cole. And just like that, a double and a sinker in the stretch. The 2-1. The squeeze is put on, sliding home safely. Colton Bradley's in, and the Chippewas have won as they come flying out of the dugout. Central Michigan in the bottom of the ninth takes down Missouri State 2-1 to one on a Robert Greenman squeeze. And we played very well in all facets. I mean, they, they you know, we, I thought we swung the bat well. We competed really hard, and, um, you know, it was a good win to get, and it was, it was a tough one. I mean, and... Uh, you know, you know how he 